In the previous video, we learned how to perform man with knee test in our studio. In this video, I will demonstrate how to perform student's t-test and Welch t-test in our studio using the decision rule presented in the previous video. In this example, we will use the weight loss dataset in the deuterium package. To view the data, we type view open parentheses, weight loss. Highlight the code and press Control enter The data set contains 48 observations and 6 variables. For this demonstration, we will be using the T1 and exercises variables. Suppose you want to test if the weight of the respondents who exercised is significantly different compared to those who did not after one month at 0.05 significance level. Now, we will select the test that we will use for this dataset. First, we must check if there exists at least one outlier in our dataset when grouped according to the exercises variable. We can do that by typing Box plot, open parentheses, T1, tilde exercises, comma, weight loss. Highlight the code and press Control Enter. In the plots window, we see the box plot. It appears that there are no outliers in the data set. Now, we use the script that checks if the data is normally distributed when grouped according to exercises. Since we are able to run the script, we may proceed by typing the function normality, open parentheses, weight loss, dollar sign, T1, comma, weight loss, dollar sign exercises comma weight loss highlight the code and press control enter based on the result we have to use t test now we will check if the sample of each group is equal we can do that by typing weight loss percent greater than percent sign enter group underscore by open parentheses exercises forward percent greater percent sign Enter the player, double colon, summarize, open, count, equals, length, open parentheses, T1. Weight loss contain the data set that we want to analyze. Group by exercises. Argument indicates that we will group the data set according to exercises variable, whereas the player colon colon summarize count equals length of T1 indicates that we want to count how many observations are there for each group. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. We can see in the console window that there are equal number of observations in the two groups which is 24. Therefore, we will use the student's t-test. The next step is to formulate the null and alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis is that the mean weight of the two groups is equal, whereas the alternative hypothesis is that the mean weight of the two groups are not equal. Let's perform student's t-test in our studio by typing t.test Open parentheses, 
T1 tilde exercises comma weight loss comma var dot equal equal sign true comma alternative equals two that sided t the test function allows us to perform t test in our studio t1 till the exercise argument indicates that we need to group the t1 variable using the exercises variable the weight loss argument indicates where these data are stored. var that equal equals true argument indicates that we assume that the variance of the two groups are equal, whereas alternative equal sign two that sided argument indicates that we are performing a two sided test. Highlight the code and press Control Enter. In the console window, we see the result. The t is the test statistic which is equal to 0 0.73529. Df is the degrees of freedom which is equal to 46. And the p-value which is equal to 0 0.4659 is the probability that you will get your data assuming that the null hypothesis is true. Since the p-value is greater than the significance level which was set to 0 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis and assume that the mean weight of the respondents who exercised and did not exercise may be equal on the first month. We can further investigate by computing the mean of each group. We can do that by typing weight loss percent greater percent sign enter group underscore by open parentheses, exercises, forward percent greater percent sign, enter the player, double colon, summarize, open parentheses, mean equals mean, open parentheses, T1, forward SD equals SD, open parenthesis, T1. Highlight the code and press Control enter As you can see in the console window, the difference between the mean weight of the two groups is very small considering the standard deviation of the two. For our last example, we will use the business dataset which can be downloaded on the description below. Once you're done downloading the file, we type data1 read.csv open parentheses file.choose open close parentheses comma header equals true. Highlight the code and press control enter. Look for the file and double click it. In my case, it's here. In the environment or history window, you can see the data set. For this demonstration, we will use the sex and innovativeness variables. Suppose you want to test if there is a significant difference in the innovativeness score when grouped according to sex at 0.05 significance level. Now, we will select the test that we will use for this data set. First, we must check if there exists at least one outlier in our data set when group according to sex. We can do that by typing box plot, open parentheses, 
innovativeness tilde sex comma data one highlight the code and press control enter in the plots window we see the result it appears that there are no significant outliers in the data set now we use the script that checks if the data is normally distributed when grouped according to sex since we were able to run the script earlier we may proceed typing the function normality open parentheses data1 dollar sign innovativeness comma data1 dollar sign sex comma data1 highlight the code and press control enter based on the result we have to use t-test now we will check if the number of observations for each group is equal we can do that by typing data1 percent greater than percent sign enter group underscore by open parentheses sex forward percent greater than percent sign enter the player, double colon summarize open parentheses count equals length open parentheses innovativeness again data one contains the data set that you want to analyze group underscore by sex argument indicates that we will group the data set according to sex variable whereas the player double colon summarize count equals length innovativeness indicates that we want to count how many observations are there for each group highlight the code and press control enter we can see that the number of observations in the two groups is not equal we have 23 female respondents and 77 male respondents therefore we will use the welch t-test the next step is to formulate the null and alternative hypothesis the null hypothesis is that the mean level of innovativeness of the two groups is equal whereas the alternative hypothesis is that the mean level of innovativeness of the two groups are not equal. Let's perform a Welch t-test by typing t.test open parentheses innovativeness tilde sex comma data1 comma var dot equal equal sign false comma alternative equal sign quotation mark two dot sided t the test function allows us to perform t test in our studio innovativeness tilde sex argument indicates that we need to group the innovativeness variable using the sex variable the data one argument indicates where these data are stored the var dot equal equal sign false argument indicates that we assume that the variance of the two groups are not equal whereas the alternative equal sign two dot sided argument indicates that we are performing a two-sided test highlight the code and press control enter in the console window we see the result the t is the test statistic which is equal to negative 2.3145 df is the degrees of freedom which is equal to 36.003 and the p value which is equal to 0 0.02646 is the probability that you will get your data 
assuming that the null hypothesis is true. Since the p-value is less than the significance level, which was set to 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. Hence, the level of innovativeness of male and female are significantly different on average. We can further investigate by computing the mean of each group. We can do that by typing data1, percent greater than percent sign, enter group underscore by, open parentheses, sex, forward, percent greater than percent sign, enter deplier, double colon, summarize, open parentheses, mean equals mean, open parentheses, innovativeness, forward comma, SD equals SD, open parentheses, innovativeness. Highlight the code and press Control enter We can conclude further that the male has higher level of innovativeness compared to female since the mean score for male is greater than the female. While in practice, there are other ways to identify which of the three tests should you use for your analysis. The procedure presented here is a good start for you to practice your data analysis skills. However, I do not suggest you performing initial analysis such as Shapiro-Wilk or Levin's test to test if your data passes the assumption of a parametric procedure. To know more about the dangers of performing initial analysis, I attach several research papers for you to read. That ends our video and I hope you learned something. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.